Yo, what is going on everyone? My name is Nane and or Naoten bringing you yet another Raid the Dungeon video. <clears throat> and in today's video, we're going to be going over a few things that you might have missed. It might have slipped through your fingers, um, right from under your nose. And I'm going to go ahead and state that this isn't really for new players. This is more for the late game players. If you are a new player, there is one thing on here that would be good for you. Um, if you are an in-game player, though, this is probably something that you missed that you can snag, um, some pretty good rewards out of, about, uh, 100 and, about 135,000 quarts, uh, probably about, um, about probably like 50 to 60,000, uh, tier dungeon tokens, about, um, I don't even know how much she's in currency. I don't know. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to explain how much you get of everything. I'm just going to jump right in. We're going to show you. So first off, it's going to be in the quest section. Um, and some of you are probably like, oh, okay. He clickbaited me. Like, you know, y'all already know it. But I'm sure that some people miss this because I didn't even see these for a few days. Like, I, I came back about four days ago and I noticed these this morning. And I went and I did all of them. And what I am talking about, well, first off, for the new players, this is the one that you want to do, Enchant Skin, because this is an easy way for you to just get free quartz while also getting some decent enchantments on your item. So what you want to do with your first, like, 100 quartz, just use an enchantment on a skin. And how you do that is you go over to Equipment, you go to Skin right here, you click on your skin, and then you hit enchantment right here. Just go ahead and do that. Um, and then you will get 3,000 quartz for doing that. And then you can use 1,000 of that to do this. And then you'll get this. And then you can use 1,000 more to get this. So you're, you're getting progressively more quartz. You end up getting... I, I don't know how much quartz you get from this. I didn't really math it out. But it's a fuck ton. <laughs> so it's it's well over that this it costs forty five thousand to get the to this point, and you get well over forty five thousand. Like this and this alone is thirty nine thousand quartz. Um, so pretty much like the rest of this is like bonus. So j just don't go over this if you are a new player. Just. Do this to get some quick quartz, get some quick uh, enchantments on your skins that are pretty good, and then you can go back to doing whatever you want to do. But anywho, that's pretty much the only one for the new players. Layer, layer here down below is going to be for the late game players. So, this, Clear Seasonal Rift. I didn't see this the first few times I came into this. Because uh, I, I went in here a few times like, oh, well, what else can I get rewards for? And I just scrolled through. And I didn't really notice them. Um, but to do this, you have to first, like, the first thing that you have to do is clear stage one. And then you have to clear stage two. You have to clear every single one all over again. If you are a late game player and you haven't done this since this came out, I don't know when this came out, but I know that they updated the uh, main quest stuff on December 20th so this might have come with that I'm not sure I started again till like about four days ago on uh, I think it was about Christmas or like the day before Christmas um, but go in here and check to see if you have all of this done because as you can see for a single void rift key you get 4,000 currency 4,200 currency 4,400 currency it goes up by 200 every time so I did 15 runs so that's I'm just going to times that by 5,000 on average. So I, I got at least 75,000 uh, void currency just from running these. Just for using 15 void rift keys. Um, but yeah. So anyways, next up is the tier dungeon right here below it. It's the same exact thing. You have to go back all the way back to stage one and you have to do all of them. You don't have to do them in order. You can go ahead and do all... Fifth, or all 20, 30 of them that you need 
or that you can do just go ahead and complete every single one one time and then you can go back over here and claim all of them um but as you can see like it goes up by 500 tier uh currency every single stage which is insane like that's that is a fuck ton of currency i got about i think this is about like 60,000 currency just for completing 18 stages like that's a lot of tier stage currency uh so after that this is one that i mean you're gonna complete this anyway because it just says clear chaos dungeon it's not a stage so you don't have to clear stage one two three you you don't have to do that you just clear as many state as many chaos dungeons as you can and then you'll start getting uh some of the intermediate gems um for free pretty much uh, down here, I've already completed these, so that's why they're all the way down here, but Clear Adventure, this gives you a bunch of Marks of Rift, as you can see. This gives about, let's see, 450, uh, uh, so that's already, just from these four awards, that's 1,100 Marks of Rift. That is a lot. For literally just running these stages one time um, but you have to go all the way back you have to start at chapter 3 you get a skin and then you do chapter 5 and then you do every fifth chapter after that so every 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 and 55 uh, now make sure when you're doing this you have to do it on uh, like chapter 50 stage 3 so you have to do it on the last stage of every single chapter to get the to get the reward. Um, but as I said, with the tier dungeon and stuff, uh, tier dungeon and rift and this, and then or well, rift is right here, but that's coming up. Um, so you can literally just do every single one of these and then come back and claim all of them. Um, you don't have to do this one, then claim it, then do this one, then claim it. No, that'll take forever. So just do chapter three, stage three, chapter five, stage three, et cetera, et cetera. Do all of them, then come back, claim them all, and you're done. Um, and then last but, n or well, yeah, last but not least um, is the clear rift stage, or well, every odd stage. It goes one, three, five, seven, nine, 11, 13, 15, 17, 19, 21, 20, etc 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 all the way up so this alone clearing from 1 to 45 right here gave me about 140,000 quartz I did this just this morning and I had about 1,000 quartz when I started um, so yeah do that you get 32,000 quartz for using one mark of rift fucking do that <laughs> and then down here, this is pretty much like one of the last things I want to mention is the obtain option critical rate. Um, so, you have probably already gotten a few of these rewards right here, and these uh, you might have already gotten this honestly uh, because it's pretty easy to get this much crit rate, especially later in the game. Um, but if you just have a hundred and fifty percent critical rate on your character at any point in time you can claim this and then you can immediately take that gear right back off and then you're good like you already you finished it um, so just go ahead and, and get enough crit rate on your gear to get 150 percent and then go ahead and claim that and then that is about that's like 62,000 eternal tokens and then 20 keys of prophecy for free just for equipping some gear um, and then another one to go off of that one is the um obtain option skill cooldown reduction this is the same exact thing 62,000 eternal tokens and then it's going to be 20 uh keys of prophecy i'm assuming um, it should be um so i i haven't even done this part myself yet just because i don't really care enough to get 150 and also i'm not spending any of my keys of prophecy yet until i probably make a video with me pulling keys of prophecy so s stay tuned um but yeah so th that's pretty much all there really is like that that's all like kind of the hidden ones a little bit the, a little bit hidden 
uh, I'll go ahead and say again, sorry if this was a little clickbaity for you. Um, if it was, you can hit that dislike button. If it wasn't and this helped you out, make sure to smash that like button. Um, comment down below whatever you are thinking, whatever you want to comment down below. And then go ahead and subscribe for some more Raid the Dungeon content into the future. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.